Welcome to I Love Pharmacology. Today we will see about aspirin important drug interactions. I am Dr. Padmanabha TS. So coming to the mnemonics, how to remember the drug reactions with aspirin. You have to remember five letters that is A, B, C, D, E. A stands for aspirin antagonizes, aspirin blunts, aspirin compacts, aspirin displaces, aspirin limits the excretion. We will see what drug interaction will occur with which of the drugs. So coming to the first drug interaction, aspirin antagonizes the uricosuric action of the proban acid which is a uricosuric drug which is used in the gout. So basically it inhibits the tubular secretion of uric acid as well as the methotrexate. So at the low dose aspirin causes hyperuricosuric Senior. So, thereby it increases the risk of gouty attacks. So, the use of low-dose aspirin was associated with high risk of recurrent gout attacks and usually these low-dose or cardioprotective in action. So, use of low-dose that is around less than 325 milligram per day or 81 milligram per day is associated with twofold higher risk of recurrent gout attack. So, in case of patient who are having gout, they should use uric lowering agents like xanthine oxidase inhibitors or uricosuric agents. So, these agents may minimize the hyperuricemic effects of the low dose aspirin. So, coming to the second drug interaction that is Aspirin blunts the diuretic action of furosemide and thiazides. So you know that furosemide and thiazides are the diuretic agents. These aspirin by inhibiting the renal prostaglandins which has diuretic action. So thereby it produces antidiuretic action. So aspirin produces antidiuretic action by blocking the renal prostaglandins and also this aspirin will blunts the effectiveness of the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors by blocking the production of vasodilatory as well as the natriuretic prostaglandins. And also the combination of NSAIDs as well as AC inhibitors increases the risk of hyperkalemia which can lead to cardiac arrhythmia especially in the elderly patient and also the patient with hypertension, diabetic mellitus and ischemic heart disease. So coming to the third drug interaction that is C4 competition. So aspirin competes with the candrinone in the renal system. Candrinone as you know it is an active metabolite of spironolactone. So, so the both will compete for active transport in the proximal tubule thereby aspirin reduces the potassium conserving action of the spironolactone as well as it blunts the antihypertensive action of the spironolactone so coming to the fourth drug interaction that is this drug displacement reaction this aspirin will displace the warfarin sulfonylureas which is a hypoglycemic agent phenytoin methotrexate because aspirin has high plasma protein binding capacity which can displace these drugs leading to the overdose or adverse effect of these displaced drugs because of the increase in the concentration of these displaced drugs. Along with this aspirin you know that at low dose it has got antiplatelet action by inhibiting the thromboxane A2 synthesis. So all these together can increase the risk of bleeding in patient who are on oral anticoagulant. Coming to the fifth drug interaction that is E, aspirin limits the excretion of lithium. So basically aspirin will reduce the renal excretion of lithium leading to lithium toxicity. To summarize, the low dose of aspirin will cause hyperuricemia, so thereby increasing the risk of recurrent gouty attacks. 
aspirin blunts the anti diuretic action of the furosemide that is for diuretic agent so therefore aspirin has got anti diuretic action which also blunts the anti hypertensive action of the diuretic agents aspirin reduces the potassium conserving action of the spironolactone by competing with the candrenone which is a active metabolite of the spironolactone and aspirin will increase the risk of bleeding in the patient on oral anticoagulant because it displaces the warfarin from the plasma protein binding site thereby increasing the warfarin concentration warfarin as you know it is a anti coagulant thereby it increases the risk of bleeding so aspirin also reduces the renal excretion of the lithium leading to lithium toxicity thank you